Okay, so at the Keeper's Bar in Tower Hill, I'm joined by Goodwin Promotions' latest signing in Danny Good. Thanks for joining us this afternoon, Danny. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you. Um, so, people that may have just been watching this may or may know your career and what you've done before. Let's talk a little bit about your career. This isn't the first time um, you've been a pro boxer. You've had a four-year um, time out of the ring. A uh, bit of a mixed career. You was a bit of a prospect, 12-0 12, 12 coming into it, and then took some fights that you shouldn't have took, maybe quick together, and then obviously seven, seven losses after that. So your current record stands at 12-7. and seven. Um, Just tell us a little bit about why now's the right time at 34 you're coming back to boxing. Well, I'm doing a charity fight first, come back for the charity fight for the um, Southampton Children's Hospital. And I was chatting to Steve, and Steve sort of convinced me to go for a title after, saying that, you know, we can get you a title, we can do this. So I thought, yeah, I want to do it. OK, so you're coming back and your purse that you're going to earn from thing is going to go towards this charity, is that right? All the, all the purse money, hopefully all the charity um, sponsorship we're going to get as well, it's all going to go to the Southampton Children's Hospital. Excellent. And when's, when's your fight going to be that's going to go for that? December the 5th. December the 5th. OK, so just tell us a little bit about why you're involved in the charity and what the charity does. And I mean, there's not many boxers that's done that. For you, so for you to have done that is, is a, you know, I'm sure the charity are very pleased. Just tell us why that charity is so close to you. Well, I did this um, Bournemouth Half Marathon last month for them, so raised some money for them there. It's, just a, it's a kid's charity. I've got a daughter, a four-year-old. She's been up with the hospital. Nothing major, luckily, but there are kids up there that do need it, so it'd be nice to give them something back. Is this the main reason you're coming back, is for this charity fight, or did you feel that after four years out you missed the game and just fancy coming back? No, I missed the game as well. It's a bit hard not to. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Steve, we'll just bring you in here. Obviously... Danny's saying there that he's obviously come back for the charity fight, which is you know very admirable that he's doing that, and there's not many boxers that do that. Um, just tell us and the, the people what your plans are for him, um, why you've convinced Danny that you're the right person for him, and what you have plans for him over the next 12 months or so. Well, as you know, what we like to do, we like to give everybody an opportunity, and I think this is a real-life Rocky story. We've got a kid that was 12-0, and 0, one of a real top prospect, and he just let everything slip. Wouldn't it be great for that kid that was 12-0 and 0 that blew it to actually have a, be, about be a, rock, a real life Rocky story as he goes through the whole Supermate division next year. The plan is we're going to go for a Masters title in March and we're going to build up some bigger titles. If Danny can do it in the gym, we want to be part of creating this big story. And I think it'll be a huge story to see Danny Good back in the limelight again. So the 5th of December is when you, your charity show. You're saying you're going to build him up for a Masters in March. Where do you plan that Masters title to be? Will it be in London? Will it be in Portsmouth? Where do you hope it to be? Well, before London, I'm not too bothered really. I think it's something we'll look at. We'll look at both. I think we'll we'll have, get this fight out of the way, and we've got, as you know, we've got shows every single Saturday in March, Goodwin Boxing. So Danny, we can choose with Danny where we're going to go, but we're going to make a really big thing out of it. Um, Danny will have his press conference to build it up in his hometown, New Milton. It's going to be a, a big occasion, and we want to do it wherever it suits Danny is and and all the people that want to support him. But we want this to be a rocky story, and we want everybody in Hampshire to get behind Danny, and we want to see we want to see something happen. We just never have you ever seen somebody twelve wins, then seven straight losses, then come back and start to actually crash through the division. This is what we're hoping Danny can do. And and that's an interesting point that Steve said. I, I don't think it's ever been done before. Twelve or no, and then go on to seven. What makes you feel you've got enough left? Do you just, just know you're still hungry for it? Do you watch boxing and think to yourself, I can still beat these guys? Yeah, no, when I watch the boxing, I sit on the couch looking. I think, I can beat you. So instead of sitting on the couch, get out there and do it. And I've promised my little daughter a, a title. Excellent. Okay, so just, what, what's your daughter's name? How old is she? Evie. Evie. Okay, so March is when we're looking to, to get your first title. 5th of December is when we're back. What's your training? Who are you training with at the moment? Have you got that sorted out? I'm training with Stevie Tyrrell and Dave Ville down at the Touchwood Gym in Marchwood. Okay, so... Look, it's, it's great what you're doing for the charity. I'm, I'm sure the charity are, are very appreciative that you've done that. Um, it's very admirable to do that. There's not many boxers that will give up their purse to do that. So you should be commended for that. If people want to get in contact with you, Danny, how do they find you? Facebook, Twitter? They can find me on Facebook on my phone number 07966845848. Um, that's it, really. <laughs> And uh, what can people expect to see? So obviously, do you want to get back to the, the Danny that started again? I mean, we're going to have a good fight on December the 5th. And then... 2015 is going to be a big one. All right, well, thanks for joining us, Dan and Steve, and we look forward to December the 5th. Hope it raises lots of money for the I'd charity. Like say thank you to my sponsor, Ivan Mitchell, as well, because he's the one that's helped me financially get through this to get me back into the ring properly. No problem. And sponsors are huge, aren't they? Uh, so to do it. It would be nice. And, and then and get in contact with you via your phone number. And they can always you know, give a charity donation to the charity. 
Okay, so Danny, on, Danny Good on Facebook, obviously give out his phone number earlier on. Anyone that wants to sponsor, any give towards the charity or just follow Danny's career, please hook him up on Facebook and go for that. Look forward to 5th December. Thanks, Danny. Thank you very much.